God's Eater is a good game if you like Monster Hunter. It's in the same style. It's not a clone nor a copy of Monster Hunter, but it has the same spirit. You are part of a group of teenagers from an organization that wants to stop monsters. You play in a post-apocalyptic world. The presentation is great and the visuals look very nice for a PSP. For the first game, just know that there are actually three games, not two. In the video caption you see only two, but there are actually three. There is God Eater, God Eater Burst and God Eater 2. But since God Eater and God Eater Burst are the same game, but Burst is the complete edition, I've put only Burst in the title. Because I know that most people watching my videos don't actually listen to what I'm talking and just skip to see all the video captions. But if you are listening, then God's Eater or God Eater story the God Eater storyline ends at rank 6, while Burst has all the storylines from the first game, but continues the story even further, till rank 10, which means more content, more story. Ok, now let's return to the general talk about the games. And after the general talk, I'm gonna tell you what the differences between the games are. Ok, so in this series, in combat you have two slots to take care of. Melee, which is your weapon for close range attacks, and gun, where you choose your long range attack you stand side. And the customization options are plenty for weaponry. At the gun section you have even the option to choose what shape your bullet you want it to be and how it will behave, whether you want it to pierce through monsters or explode. Options for weapons are plenty. And to gather materials for customization you hold the triangle button and your weapon develops a mouth like Kisame Samehada in Naruto. And enemies are diverse, monsters are plenty, and each has unique fighting styles. But what makes the game be not a, mas not a masterpiece is the repetitiveness. It gets very repetitive. You will see the same environments over and over again, and you will meet the same stuff, especially later in the game. And the way the fighting develops can become annoying. The monsters many times just run away and you have to chase them. And spaces are big enough so that this is an annoyance. You just want to finish off the beast and now you have to run after it. Also for those accusing God Eater to be a Monster Hunter clone, first off Monster Hunter is way better than this game and second God Eater has a story. All of the games, all of the games have a story which Monster Hunter doesn't. Because you can't call that a story which Monster Hunter has. I mean comparing it to God Eater where you have narratives, cutscenes, anime like cutscenes and dialogues, it's some sort of JRPG. While in Monster Hunter well the story element isn't so prominent. And in gameplay, even if God Eater makes you feel like you play Monster Hunter, it isn't the same game but with a different theme. God Eater focuses on your weapon customization system mostly, while Monster Hunter has different weapons, baits, armors, it's, it's more dense. And in God Eater your main focus is on bullets and the blades, so your weapon. So the gameplay is different, just because you run around chasing monsters doesn't make it a Monster Hunter clone. Like for example The Witcher 3 isn't a clone of Monster Hunter because you go and kill monsters. But I have to admit though, that while playing God Eater, something about it constantly reminds you of Monster Hunter. Ok, now differences between the two. While the first God Eater game had three main weapon types, short blade, long blade and burster blade, as well as three gun types, sniper, assault and blast. God Eater 2 adds two new blade types, the charge spear and the boost hammer, and well, as new gun types, the shotgun. In addition, God Eater 2 introduces three new mechanics, blood arts, blood bullets and link support. Blood arts boost your default attack or gives you new options for your favorite blade. Blood bullets have unique properties, like ricocheting off the target to hit another, 
and link support means that allies can boost your defense or induce paralysis. And the site of all of this, God's Eater 2 has more monsters, called Aragamis in the game. So you have more beasts to fight. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.